Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix crashing issue as well as stuck or loaded screen issue on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and how you can fix this app. Now let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you're having these kind of issues, you need to what you need to do is the first one is all about you can start with a simple restart and that's what you have to do. For this, go over here in this icon. Now from here, click on this one and go for the restart. So you can try with a simple restart. This is not going to work in all the cases, but you can try with a restart and that's going to work for you in most cases. If this is not working, you can try with the next one. Next one is nothing but we can go with Verify integrity of game file. For this, just go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to installed files. Now from here, just click on verify integrity of game file. So as you can see, the game is around, you know, 90.86 GB. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is this will be cross checking every single files of the game. If any files are corrupted, or if any files are missing and all these kind of things will be cross-checked and if it's going through any kind of issues such as if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all those things will be fixed from this particular step so that is why verify integrity of game file is actually an important step we need to try out that is why it's been recommended by all the users so you can whenever you are having these kind of issues such as crashing stick on loading screen and even many more issues such as stuttering you know, lagging, FPS drop, you know, uh, freezing, and you can try with FPS drop, and even many issues, you can try this out as well. So once you're done with this, I have skipped it because we're gonna, we need to wait a little bit longer, so I'm gonna skip this set. Once after verify integrity of game file is done, you can try with the next step. Next step is nothing but, all you can do is you can try with the next step that is all about, you need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us will be launching the game from Steam. That can't even cause the issue. So what you need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods. One, we can go a shortcut from here or we can navigate to using the file explorer. So I, I'll be showing you both. We can try any one you need. So the first one is all about just go over here, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to installed files. And over here, as you can see, which is on C drive, around here there is an option called browse just click on this one now if you go back you can see that this is what it looks like so if you check at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common call of duty hq this is what the installation folder now from here we need to launch the application this is the application so just launch the game from here instead of launching the game from steam this did work it for many of the users in my knowledge so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but you can try the same step which means two steps coming ahead can be done from the installation folder so i'm going to show you this next one is run the game as an administrator for this you just need to go over here right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok once you go for apply and go OK, so just close this and go back and you can open the Steam once again and try launch the game. If this is not working, we can move to the next step that can be uh, shown from here itself. That is, you can go over here, right click once again, go to properties, go to installed file, just click on the browse. Now you can do this step. That is nothing but you can run the game in the compatibility mode. For few users, when they did this, it did work it for them. So I'm going to show you this. So go over here in the same installation folder, like I shown with the shortcut from the Steam. Select this one, right click and go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, go to compatibility mode. Over here, as you can see, this is blank. So you have to select this and first set Windows 7. Set this to Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK and see whether the issue is solved or else you can set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and you can try launch the game but keep in mind for few users when they run the game in compatibility mode the issue become more severe if they are having only crashing issue they end up in having freezing and stuttering if that is the case it's a rare case if that is happening for you as well then you need to undo this particular step just undo this 
and go for apply and go for ok and go back to the steam and try launch the game. If this is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to set the windows language to English. Now as you can see the windows language is English but some users have a tendency of running the game in their native languages like you know Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, even Russian. So if that might be causing the issue so just go over here in the search go for settings go over here in the time and language go for language and region. Now we can add the language and search for English and set the language to English. And also make sure you are from the country where you are actually residing. So based on your geography, you can select this one and select the appropriate country. You have to go back and go to the date and time over here. As you can see, you have to set the time and time zone should be automatically turned it on. This is very important as well. You have to turn this on as well. Once you turn this on, go back and try launch the game. Next one is nothing but you can try with launching the game using Alt and Tab. So most of the users having crashing issue, they try a couple of times and they became really, you know, they became really angry or they really end up in saying it's not going to work. So you can try all the possible workaround. And one among them is just click on the play button. The moment you're clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work for many users. So I found this method from the Steam community where one of the users commented and stated this did work it for them and you can definitely try a lack. If this is not working, move to the next step. If this worked, you can tag me in the comment. So just click on the play button and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about nothing but you can try with delete the saved game file. For this, just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC and go to documents over here you will be finding the folder of the game so if you find the folder of the game so you have to delete the folder so if when you're doing this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine it is all good you can start from the scratch but even this did work for many users it helped them to launch the game so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but you need to allow the game to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel now from here go to system and security. Now from here go to windows defender firewall. Now go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here you have to keep scrolling down hence this an alphabet and search for modern warfare. So you'll be able to find COD somewhere else here. It will be quite easy if you find it. So if you find anything over here like modern warfare. So make sure it is all good with us like it is market. So if it's not there you can go over here. You can find the game over here and you can see if it's marked with this, you can definitely cross check it as well. So for many of the users, when they cross checked over here, it did help with them. So you can do the same and most probably the war zone will be there. So you can try this out and make sure it does. Uh, you know, you have to make sure, you know, they are um, checked. And if the game is not here, we can add it by default. For this, you can just click on the change settings. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down Steam and go to Steam apps once again, go for common. Now from here go to Call of Duty HQ. Now from here you have to select this one. This is the application so go for open and go for add. So now as you can see the Call of HQ is added and make sure the private and public both should be checked. So private and public should be checked and once after that you need to close this go back and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is nothing but you can try with unplug all the USB devices. So in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, most of the users might be playing the game, not in all the cases, but most of the users might be depending on the controllers and some might be playing with the keyboard and mouse itself. But if you're using any additional things like, you know, your, your PC and laptops might be filled with a lot of things like controllers, even any other things. So these things can even cause the issue. So we cannot take any possibility over there. So just remove everything from the USB port, launch the game. After game is successfully launched, if you still wanted to play the game with the controller, just connect back the controller and try launch the game. And this is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, we can try with performing a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for over here, go to system configuration. Go for services, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for disable all, it's actually grayed out for me because I tried this very recently. Go for apply and go for okay. 
it might ask you for restart in some cases if it's asking for restart just do a restart and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we need to disable the steam overlay for that go over here in the game right click and go to properties now from here as you can see this is disabled you have to enable this once you enable this if it is enabled you have to disable it sorry once you disable this try launch the game that will be helping you guys out as well if that is not working we have to go over here in the launch option give the command for the launch option is dx11 as the first command give the command dx11 try launch the game if dx11 is not working try this to dx12 and try launch the game so try with dx11 or dx12 and try launch the game this did work for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but you can try with closing all the overlay application and this did work it for a few many users so you can try this out as well so just go over here in the start right click and go to task manager now if you check over here in the task manager as you can see i am only having few things running in the background which is adobe premium pro google chrome obs and steam but this will not be the case for all the users who are watching this you will be having tons of apps running over here in the background for example you know overlay applications such as discord is one of the reason why we are having crashing for example uh, another example is overclocking applications such as you know msa afterburner reward tuner etc so if you find all these things over here you have to end the task of these application and remove the unwanted things from there then try launch the game that's going to help you guys out as well next one is all about you can try with running the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search and go for graphics settings now from here as you can see you need to go over here as you can see it's already added so just click on the browse now go to local disk over here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder and go to steam apps and go to common now from here as you can see call of duty hq is there and select this one and go for add and once you add it just click on the option set this to high performance and go for save this did work it for many users most users end up in adding but they forgot to make this so you have to set it to high performance it is an important step go for save and close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory for this we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings go for advanced go for settings go to advanced once again go for change make sure this is unchecked and select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is local disk c go to custom size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator so go over here find a calculator so multiply the ram so my ram is 32 gb so i multiply 32 gb into 1024 that brings you 32768 that is what i have to do now copy this and i have to paste it next one is all about the maximum size that is 32 gb should be multiplied with 1024 it's a constant value multiply into 3 so that is 98000 note 4 so just copy this and you have to paste it and once you're done with this one just restart and see whether the issue is solved or not if it's still working if it's still the issue is not fixed and you can up try with updating the windows go over here in the search go to settings over here go to windows update just update the game i mean just uh, update the windows and try whether the issue is solved because for especially for running the games like call of duty modern warfare it is quite important that we have to run the game in the latest windows so just update the windows and try with launch the game next one is all about we need to do like this that is what we need to do we just need to update the graphics card which is very very important especially for these kind of games So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the official Nvidia as well as the AMD. The Nvidia users they just have to go over here in this link. You have to select every details like your product type, product series, uh, what is your product. If you're on Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, you have to select this one. If you're on any other platform, select the respective one. Go for English language, US, and go for start search. that bring you this particular one so you have to download this is the latest released updated version that is 536.40 which is released on 29 2023 so just download this install restart the pc and try launch the game next one if you're on the amd go to graphics select these details over here and go for submit 
once you go for submit you will be able to find this so if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game last and the least one for fuses i found this from the community forum itself i don't know how but also i cross-checked and also i found this from reddit that for many users when they install microsoft visual c plus plus it did work it so i'll be providing link in the description as well for these so just go over here in the this one and go to download x64 so my pc is on x64 if you're on x86 download this one and most probably many users will be in x64 so just download this one install restart and try launch the game so last and the least one is all about even after trying all these things the issue is still not persisting and if you're having a lot of trouble we can try with uninstalling the game and reinstall it back i know this is quite looks like crazy but this did work it for many users so we can try this out as well for they just go over here right click go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you need to go over here for reinstalling it back what you need to do is just need to go over here and should not be installing back on the same local disk from where you are uninstalled so try with a new local disk and try launch the game so these are the possible workarounds which you can be tried out when you're having an issue with call of duty modern warfare crashing and stuck on loading screen you can try these steps for stuttering you know lagging you know freezing and even if you're having low fps drop on pc and you can also how to increase the performance you can also try this out and even if you're having launching issue black screen not responding for all these you can try this out so these are the possible workaround and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe see you soon in the next video bye